The select board held a meeting this past week. At the meeting, the planning board joined in to choose someone for the open planning board spot. So that gives us five for Jane Moran, one for Ms. Arno, three for Mr. McNamara, and three for Ms. Chowdhury. Looks like Jane Moran, welcome aboard. Uh, so Mr. Chair, I think we need to formalize that motion. The planning board and select board chose Jane Moran to fill the spot. I'd like to, I'd like to have a motion to, uh, I'd like to make a motion to appoint um, Jane Moran to the position of planning board member to a term expiring at the 2020 annual town election. Yeah. Yes. That's it. Second. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's why. Any further discussion? Just the only thing, is, again, thank you to all the applicants to uh, put themselves for. Uh, taking a shot, so that's great. Uh, hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Any abstentions? Carried. There was also a public hearing held on whether to approve the Greyhound Friends kennel license. I want to support and give everybody a shot to make this happen, but I got to be clear that that's why I asked the question how many times can we revoke it? If three weeks from now, if I do jog by, um, and I see something that doesn't look right, I'm not going to be afraid to quote report up. I'm going to call the chair and I'm going to call the town manager and I'm going to call the chief of police. And maybe all heck's going to break loose three weeks from now. That's kind of a lousy way to start up, but that's the pressure you got to understand that we're likely going to apply to make sure this is going to play out if it plays out at all. You're in a tough spot. You are. If you came in as Dachshund friends with, with a different different name and, and, and the, the people in front of us probably wouldn't be here right now. But your name is not gold in the dog loving community. And it's up to you to change it. And it's up to us as a board to monitor it. It's, us to, it's up to us as a town to monitor it because there are people, I love dogs, but I'm not one of these people that feel that dogs are as important as a child and they're passionate about it. My thought on children is they're pretty important. I'm a nurse, I'm a mandated reporter as well. If I saw something go wrong with a child, it's gonna be taken care of. It's gonna be reported at the very least. And that's how these people and most people in this room feel. So you're up against it. And if you're up for the challenge, I mean, we're, we're being very honest and upfront with you. Just like Mr. Hurst said about all the, the liquor licenses, the bars, the liquor stores, things like that. They know there's no wiggle room. There's no gray area. The select board unanimously approved the kennel license with the following stipulations. Section 62-7.G.B. Pren 2D of the Town General Bylaws, we order that the Greyhound Friends Inc. kennel license be amended to provide one, no board member from Greyhound Friends, Inc., who served on or before the date of its closure in February 2017, shall be eligible to serve on the board without the prior approval of the select board after a public hearing. Two, the Greyhound Friends board shall take all reasonable steps to prevent Louise Coleman from being present on the Greyhound Friends property, including, as necessary, taking any legal action to obtain a no trespass, restraining, or comparable court order to effect that result. And that the select board continue its deliberations to a future date. That is my motion. And it was seconded. Okay. Uh, is, there, to second. is there any more, <clears throat> any further board discussion before we put it to a vote? Hearing none. So, all in favor, state aye. 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 All opposed, and all abstention. Hearing none, Eric. So, you guys have your license with those stipulations. Thank you very much. We appreciate your time. And thank you very much to the other side as well for the citizens' petitions for caring enough to put something like that.